Welcome back to Educare.com. Now we're going to look at a few more examples on how to find uh, marginal, joint, and conditional probabilities. So in this example, we had a survey. Children aged 16 to 14 were asked, do you worry about having enough money? And so we classified these into boys and girls and kept track of their answers, yes or no. So coming up with the marginals here, 279. 281, okay, and over here we have 330 and 330, so we have 660 total. The first probability, what's the probability that the student is a girl given that they do worry about having enough money? So in that situation, we're only concerned with the people who are worried about having enough money. So I'm only worried about those 279 people. How many of them are girls? 178, and so we get 0.638 for that probability. What's the probability that they're a boy? Well, how many boys do we have total? This is a marginal probability, so we're looking at that marginal total. There are 330 boys divided by 660 total, and we get 0.5 for that probability. So this is our marginal probability. What's the probability that they're a girl and they do not worry about having enough money? So these, that row represents the girls. This column represents not worrying about having enough money. That overlap is 152, right? And we're dividing this by the total number of observations, 660. This gives me 0 0.230.